Let us take a short quiz to test our understanding so far. Which of the following is not a characteristic of bearer debentures? Which of the following is not a characteristic of bearer debentures? A. They are treated as negotiable instrument. B. The interest on it is paid to the holder irrespective of identity. They are transferable by mere delivery. The transfer requires a deed of transfer. Is not a characteristic of a bearer debenture. They are treated as negotiable instrument. Yes, that is a characteristic because they can be easily transferred. The interest is paid to the holder irrespective of identity. Yes, because they are a bearer debenture. They are transferable by mere delivery. Yes, the very name bearer debenture means whoever holds the debentures will get the repayment of the interest. The transfer requires a deed of transfer. No, that is not true. If you require a deed of transfer, they would be registered debentures. Therefore, what is not a characteristic of bearer debenture? Answer is D. The transfers require a deed of transfer. That would happen only in the case of a registered debenture. So the correct answer is D. Next, which of the following statements is true? A. A debenture holder is an owner of the company. B. A debenture holder can get his money back only on the liquidation of the company. A debenture issued at a discount can be redeemed at a premium. A debenture holder receives interest only in the event of profits. Which of the following statements is true? Is a debenture holder an owner of the company? No, it's a lender of the company. Debenture holder can get his money back only on liquidation of the company. That's not true. Equity shareholder gets it only on liquidation. A debenture issued at a discount can be redeemed at a premium. Yes, it can be. The statement is true. A debenture holder receives interest only in the event of profits is not true. Therefore, which statement is true? C is true. The correct answer should be option C. That is a true statement that a debenture may be issued at a discount and could be redeemed at a premium. Next, which of the following statements is false? Shareholders are owners while debenture holders are creditors. B. Interest on debentures is fixed. C. Dividend is a charge against profits. D. Debentures are usually secured by a floating charge on all the assets of the company. Which of the following statements is false? Shareholders are owners while debenture holders are creditors. True. So option A is true. Interest on debentures is fixed. Yes, true. The rate of interest is fixed. Dividend is a charge against profits. No, that is false. Dividend is an appropriation of profits. Interest may be a charge, but not dividend. And what about D? Debentures are usually secured by a floating charge on all the assets of the company. That is also true. Therefore, in this case, which statement is false? C is false. Correct answer should be option C. So, dividend is a charge against profits. C is the correct option. Next. Which of the following statements is false? A. At maturity, debenture holders get back their money as per the terms and conditions of redemption. B. Debentures can be forfeited for non-payment of call money. C. In company's balance sheet, debentures are shown under secured loans. D. Interest on debentures is charged against profits. Which of the following statements is false? At maturity, debenture holders get back their money as per terms and conditions of redemption. That is true. Debentures can be forfeited? No, it cannot. They cannot be forfeited. 
Company's balance sheet debentures are shown under secured loans is true. Interest on debentures is a charge against profits is charged against profits is true. So our correct option is B. Debentures can be forfeited. That is false. Debentures cannot be forfeited. Option B. Debentures can be 1. Mortgage debentures or simple debentures 2. Registered debentures or bearer debentures 3. Redeemable debentures or irredeemable debentures 4. Convertible debentures or non-convertible debentures So the options are like this A. Is it 1 and 2? Mortgage simple, registered and bearer Or is it 1 and 3? Mortgage debentures are simple and redeemable and irredeemable. Or is it 2 and 3, registered bearer or redeemable, irredeemable. Or D, all of the above. The correct answer should be all of the above because debentures may be mortgage or simple. They may be registered or bearer. They may be redeemable or irredeemable. They may be convertible or non-convertible. D should be the correct answer.